Triple E EDC back again with another night video. This is the Spyderco Meerkat. This is a sprint run version in HAP40 and SUS410. But before I get into this knife, I just want to remind you guys that if you're watching this uh, within the first couple of days of its release, my 1,000 subscriber giveaway is probably still going on, which means that you could win one of several knives, one of which is this, the grand prize, the large Sabenza in Macassar Ebony Wood with uh, Basket Weave Damascus. This one is mine. This one is not in the giveaway, but there's one just like it, uh, exactly like it, Macassar uh, Ebony Wood and uh, Basket Weave Damascus. That is in the giveaway, so go ahead and check that out uh, if you haven't yet. All right, now let's do some size comparisons for this gigantic, gigantic knife. So first of all, we've got this uh, tiny knife, which we have to put up next to it right here. That's the 8010, and we'll also put up this tiny knife as well, the uh, Hobax Next Buster, and... Let's go ahead and put up uh, this small knife as well. And this one, this is the ZT-0308 and the Spyderco Shaman. And now let's get some bigger knives out to just compare it to the Spyderco Akuchi, the Benchmade 940, and the Spyderco Delica. Now, of course, I'm joking. It's, uh, it's actually quite a small knife. As you can see, when it's up against the Delica and the Benchmade Griptilian, uh, it is much smaller than both of them, uh, and it's also smaller than the Benchmade Bug Out as well. So, as you can see, this is a tiny, tiny knife, all joking aside, and uh, that is good and bad. Now, as you guys know, I'm a big knife person. Uh, I love the large knives, which is why I was able to just show you uh, several large knives, and um, so knives like the XM24 are uh, usually near and dear to my heart. That being said, um, you know, this, uh, this is one of the few small knives that I've had that I actually really enjoy. And I'm not just saying that because, uh, full disclosure, this was actually uh, a gift from a viewer. It was the first gift from a viewer I've ever gotten, uh, and uh, so thank you, Mark, for that. This is... Um, uh, it, it is definitely, it definitely has a lot of sentimental value for that reason, and I'm going to try to not let that affect my review. Uh, so, uh, Mark, I will be critical where I need to be critical, and, uh, it, and I want to give you guys an honest review, but I want to give you full disclosure as well. So, the reason I like this as a small knife is because the design of this, unlike the Dragonfly, for example, the design of this actually fits really well in your hand. As you can see, at least my hand, I have a large glove size hand. The two fingers fit right where they're supposed to, and the outside two fingers fit right where they're supposed to in each of these little divots for the ergonomics. And, uh, and then your thumb locks right in. So, you know, when you're opening packages, it, this is the grip you get with it, and it's a really, really nice grip for the size of knife that it is. So I'm very, very happy with that, about that. Also, I like this better than the Dragonfly for another reason. The Dragonfly is a lockback, uh, just like the Delica. Now, I don't mind lockbacks uh, for the most part. This one's actually, the Delica and the Endora are actually fairly easy to use one-handed, uh, so I really don't mind the lockbacks. But, you know, if I can get some other type of uh, scale release or lock, I usually uh, prefer that. So this one actually has an interesting scale release. Uh, you guys know that... One of my favorite knives uh, that I have is my Magic uh, 2, which I know didn't get a lot of uh, love from the knife community. Uh, got some here and there, but I really love it. Uh, and it the way it operates is by a, a sliding scale. You slide the scale forward, you see that pop up, and then you can put it down, and that's also the release on it. Now, this is an automatic knife, but this one... Uh, which has been out longer than the Whiskers 2, has the same, uh, the same sort of sliding scale effect. So you push the scale down, and that's how the knife unlocks. And uh, so you can deploy it without that, and then you go ahead and slide that scale and push it in, and you, you've got it locked. As you can see, when I pull this, the scale moves. So the detent is also being held in by the lock uh, from the scale. So I think it's a really nice design uh, for both the ergonomic reasons, like I said uh, just a minute ago, and for the fact that it has this sliding scale mechanism. Uh, I really like the Meerkat for that reason. Um, 
The, uh, the knife itself is not overly thick. Uh, I'll put it up next to the Delica. It is thicker than the Delica, just something to be aware. But when you look at the actual blade stock, it's actually about the same size blade stock as the Delica and the same size blade stock as the Bug Out. So this is a very, very slicey knife um, and it's great for uh, opening packages and just regular everyday t uh, tasks. It fits very well in a fifth pocket. Um, <clears throat> so normally you'd put it in the fifth pocket just like this. Now it is tip down carry. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but uh, you know, I, I really enjoy that as part of um, uh, as part of the pluses as well. Another plus on this one in particular. Now these don't all come in the steel, but it, it is Hap 40 and Sus 410. If you guys saw the Delica that I was showing off earlier, that's the same steel that this Delica is in. This is the Freydon Lock Company Delica. Um, and I, I love this. It's a clad steel, basically the, um, I believe it's the, uh, uh, I could have them mixed up, but I believe it's the HAP-40 that is the core and the SUS-410 is around at the HAP-40, I think is the non-stainless steel and the SUS-410 is the stainless steel. Comment below if I got that mixed up, but I'm pretty sure I got that right. Uh, and uh, so you see on the knife, you get this line where the cladding occurs and you get that stainless steel protection there. So you get that hard tool steel and you also get um, the uh, uh, the stainless features of the steel that it's clad in. And so I really like the steel on this as well. It's, it's one of my favorite steels that uh, Spyderco makes. You know, I, obviously I like things like M390, <clears throat> 204P, uh, and uh, um, and 20 CV, which are all basically the same chemical composition. I love me some Maximit, and uh, you know I do like a lot of the some of the other steels as well, Prewear. But this one, I, I always find myself gravitating toward this steel uh, on both of those knives that I um, uh, that I showed you for when I just have to do like sustained cutting tasks. I just really enjoy the steel. It's um, you know relatively easy to sharpen compared to um, you know some of the other. Uh, tool seals out there and uh, it is a pleasure to work with. So um, those are just some things to be aware of there. Uh, so those are the main uh, the main good aspects of it. Uh, I'm, I'm neutral on the clip. I actually think, you know, a lot of people will, will see the wire clip as a plus. Uh, I think overall it's a plus, but it is, um, uh, I, I don't, the wire clip for me is a little bit hit or miss. Sometimes the wire clip is great and sometimes it is a miss. Like when I had the little native, I found that no matter how tight I had the screw tension on it, I wasn't, it, it was moving around. And so it, however it was built, uh, it just wasn't built the way that I, um, that I wanted it. And so this, this knife has a, has a much better, um, and what, if, and what feels like a much sturdier clip on it than the little native, even though it's probably made from the same stuff, it's just in there much better. And I think part of that has to do with, if you look here, um, it doesn't have, it has this little in, indentation where the screws go here, you know, it, it locks it in much better than the other uh, type of wire clip that they have. Let me see if I have an example of that. Um, sorry, guys. Let's see if I have an example of that. Yeah, so here's an example of that um, where you have two wires um, in there and then it just screws down into the uh, into the scale. Now, I feel like on the FRN models um, and the G10 models, uh, really the, the Golden Colorado models, the the way that it is um, is screwed in, it just doesn't it, it doesn't feel good in my hand. Um, it it feels like it's not secure. For whatever reason, uh, when Taiwan does it, they seem to do a better job. Um, you know. And this one is a Seki City Japan knife, uh, in case you were curious, Seki City Japan. So yeah, I don't know what it is, but those Golden Colorado wire clips don't seem to do it for me. Um, so let's see. Uh, as far as bad, um, as far as the bad, I think the bad is going to be a couple of things. One is the scale material doesn't feel you know, the best. Um, I can't remember if this is G10 or FRN, I apologize, guys. Um, but uh, it, 
it feels like it could be a better material. I would love to see this, especially in the sprint run, in a nicer material. Um, I, I think this is plastic. It does feel like plastic as opposed to G10. Uh, so, you know, I'd love to see a better material. Uh, I also think that um, uh, that the tip-down carry only on such a small knife is sort of unnecessary. Um, the I don't understand why they've only given you a tip-down carry. It could have something to do with the fact that the scale slides the way it does, uh, but I don't prefer on small knives a tip-down carry. If you guys have been watching the channel, I'm not a tip tip up snob. Uh, I actually prefer tip-down carry on the SOCOM Elite uh, and some other knives um, for reasons that I've mentioned in other videos. Uh, but when you have a large knife like this, if you have it, you know, in your pocket and you pull it out here, you've got to walk yourself up the knife to the thumb stud. Uh, and that's just not something I love to do. It, so, um, for, from that perspective, I, uh, I definitely would have liked to see this be tip up. But again, with the way the mechanism works, I understand uh, probably why they did. That's probably why they didn't do it. So, overall, uh, I, I think this is a great little knife. If you're choosing a little knife between a little native, you know, the uh, the dragonfly, uh, man bug, ladybug. I haven't held the man bug and ladybug, but they they seem to be a little too small for me, um, or or seem like they would be a little too small for me. But I have handled the other ones I mentioned and. Uh, frankly, even though I thought I would like the, the Little Native better, I actually do like the Meerkat better than the Little Native, uh, surprisingly. So, uh, I say overall, this is a, um, you know, was, I was pleasantly surprised with this knife. Uh, I was, I, I honestly, if it, I didn't get it as a gift, I never would have bought it, never would have checked it out. I'm happy I did, I'm happy I checked it out, because I can recommend it. It is a, it is a very nice knife, uh, and, um, you know, I think that, uh, it's a very good EDC if you're into uh, smaller knives. So, again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel uh, and you haven't checked out that uh, 1,000 subscriber giveaway, go ahead and do that. I, I think you'll be uh, disappointed if you miss out on those prizes. They're, they're pretty sweet. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys.